everyone, long time no see. I'm going to be filming a first trimester recap plus a bump update and then from here on out you guys are going to see current videos. I actually am going to be filming some military videos here shortly. I have some things on my mind um, in time for, well, I'm not sure if I want to film it so I may not say the topic just in case. I'm trying to figure out if I want to take the risk or not. Um, I do have to sit in a bean bag now that I'm pregnant um, just because sitting on the floor is horrendous for me. I'm also using my daylight because honestly I have not had, I need to have Lewis set up my studio lighting and um, I am going to figure out, I might just have him set it up in here, I probably will, just because we're not going to, this surprise this is going to be the nursery. Um, <laughs> so that's why I kind of halted. I'm so glad that I did not order the couch and I had all these things in my shopping cart and I something told me I was like well let me just wait you know what I'm going to go ahead and jump into this first trimester recap really quickly I can sum this up in about five minutes <laughs> um, I had more vlogs to show you guys but I just honestly stopped editing them and uploading them just because the rest of my first trimester was honestly depressing so <laughs> It's really, really sad that it's depressing, um, but um, if I could sum one word of my first trimester, which is week one all the way through 13, is probably vomiting. <laughs> vomiting, 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 nausea, vomiting, um, horrible acid reflux. Um, I didn't even realize what acid reflux was. I thought it was something you get when you're older, um, but horrible acid reflux. Um, what else happened to me? <laughs> There's a lot. Um, body pains and aches. So I can no longer fit um, my wedding ring. So I haven't been able to fit my wedding ring probably my second month of pregnancy. I know you guys are like, what? That never happened to me until like the third trimester. Well, when you're carrying twins, you know, this is what happens. Um, but basically, um, Another issue that I could kind of sum up and say is mentally I was up and down a lot. I was crying a lot, having breakdowns. I wouldn't say a lot, but one, maybe breaking down one time a week is a lot for me. Sorry, I keep looking at my screen over there. Breaking down at all is a lot for me because normally if I break down, it takes a lot for me to break down, but the fact that I was like, uh-uh, I'm done, um, was a lot. <laughs> so... What else? Um, the reason I was breaking down was, honestly, I think it was just because I was tired of being sick. I mean, you can only throw up so many times, be nauseous so many times. And then two, my weight is really, like, I think you guys can tell, like even in my face, my face is more round. And I'm like, Ugh. So um, I'm struggling a little bit with my weight. If I can be honest with you guys, if you guys can just give me 30 seconds to explain this. Um, okay, do not get, I don't know why I get emotional over talking about it, but I just, when you are expecting twins, one of the first symptoms that I guess I never realized was you gain a lot of weight, and I was wondering why I was getting a little bit pudgy, and I thought it was quarantine, you know, wasn't eating the best, but my metabolism is so fast that it doesn't really matter, um, but I know people always told me like, oh, it's going to slow down once you get closer you know, to 30 or whatever, and I still had a few years to go, so I was like, man, what is going on? So, well, I was pregnant, obviously, and then on top of that, it's like I kept gaining weight, gaining weight every time. I mean, I was at the doctor's a lot because I was throwing up, so I was there at least once a week, and two pounds, three pounds, two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, and I was like, oh my gosh, is it what I'm eating? Because I'm basically throwing up what I'm eating, and I haven't been eating the best, but um, my OB, I have like three OBs I've been rotating through, and I'll explain that in the later portion of this. It's just going to be a quick one. Um, but essentially, my OB was like, right now you are being becoming, well, she's like, what happens with nausea and vomiting is you become so dehydrated, you eat so little that you're not giving your body the nutrients for yourself and two babies. She's like, I don't care if you eat ice cream sandwiches every day and that's all you can keep down. That's what I want you to eat and drink a lot of water. She's like, we'll worry about the weight when you give birth and after you breastfeed, if it's still not coming off, then you can see a nutritionist. But she's like, 
do not worry about the weight and this is an OB who has had twins and she said she gained a lot of weight but she also lost a lot of weight right after so for me seeing my body get to you know a high number I'm not gonna even say the number because they always have it in kilograms and thank God because I think I would pass out but I can just tell like my body is just heavier I'm bigger I can fit my shirts and everything still because the width of my body is the exact same um, as far as like my back and area but I'm starting to get a little bit of rolls and my tummy's really big and I just it does make me a little self-conscious that I struggle sometimes to walk around because of the weight like if I'm on my feet I would say longer than 20 minutes my feet are swollen and they're hurting so that's a new symptom I'm having is they're swelling I was freaking out thinking I had preeclampsia because it runs in my family my mother my sister always had all these pregnancy complications so my doctor already put me on medicine to combat that but um just a baby aspirin not a blood pressure medicine but I bought a, a, bought a blood pressure cuff because when I went into my OB appointment it's a high-risk doctor all the way from the parking garage to that area and I kind of hold my breath when I walk especially wearing a mask you know you're breathing heavier I'm heavier hello and they as soon as I get there they're like let's take your blood pressure and that was mistake number one because normally when I get to my OB downstairs my regular one you just sit there for like 25 minutes because usually they're I don't know if they're behind or if they just do that so that way your blood pressure but they're smart my blood pressure is always 114 113 over 70 you know really really good blood pressure and normally I actually have a lower blood pressure that that every time I go in the doctors always comment on and luckily my blood pressure has been up um, and stable and then all of a sudden when I get up to the MFM which is the high-risk doctor the maternal fetal medicine doctor that's you see those doctors if you're high risk um, which I am now high risk um, so uh, my blood pressure was 155 over 90 crazy high the lady was like I will admit you right now we can start the paperwork she's like this is not normal I, well I convinced her I was like look at my chart this is not normal my blood pressure has been consistent she's like oh you're right I was like yeah so I think it's just one I'm nervous two they didn't let Lewis back there which I fought them on that and that's a whole nother story <laughs> but I always advocate for myself because I'm like you're not about to tell me this is my birthing experience and then three it's like um, you took my blood pressure right away I hold my breath when I work out I know it's weird doesn't make sense but if you are a cheerleader you understand for two minutes and 30 seconds of your routine you kind of hold your breath like you're breathing but you're not breathing and I've just always done that so I just really struggled my first trimester and I didn't feel like I need to keep uploading footage for you guys to see the same things of me being sick on the floor crying or having a breakdown so I moved on from that so you guys really didn't miss anything I am now 15 weeks and the second trimester um, I am my maternal fetal med medicine doctor my MFM will now take over all of my care because I am high risk and the reason I'm high risk is because I'm having um, oh, I should have looked up the name I'm having Mo Dye twins I was trying to figure out the long-term name but I used to call them mono dye, but she said the correct term is Mo Dye. so it means they share placenta but they're in two separate sacs so that can be considered high risk because for a number of reasons you can google it I'm not going to go through all that um, so yeah so starting on I think this week I have an appointment with her office again which I don't like going there because um, Louis can't come back but the clinic literally two floors below he can whatever don't agree with it don't like how they're having inconsistent care throughout their hospital but I'm just gonna zip my lips and fight another battle as Lewis told me to do um, well he didn't tell me to zip my lips because he tried to fight it too but he's like you know what I feel like this is the best care I want you to stay here because I was like let's walk um, I have my ultrasound in another doctor's appointment my appointments with them are like two hours it's ridiculously long but I have another appointment with them this week and then um, from here on out I'll have an appointment every two weeks but the lab lost my first genetic blood work that I did in September which really angry angered me because no one called no one said anything I have go to my MFM she was gonna read me the results and the lab tossed it out because they packaged it incorrectly so I had to redo the whole thing 
and I'm having my gender reveal also this week and um, it just infuriated me because I, I already paid for a private ultrasound and I'm gonna keep anytime you know the bigger milestones I've paid out of pocket for a private one so Lewis can go and see and luckily thank God we can do that um, so we are gonna do the 3d 4d one I'm excited about that um, but luckily I paid for a private gender ultrasound um, and the twins are measuring one week ahead of me so I'm 15 and they're 16 um, so I am really happy about that because um, I was really angry because the blood test that I took that normally people have to pay for I don't have to pay anything because of military anyways but that would have 99% proven the gender and you know I still would have had the ultrasound probably but you know what I mean it would have been like okay they match now it's kind of like I'm having the gender reveal this week and hopefully the results are back so I can give them to my sister and then she can say okay they match or if they don't match I mean at that point what do you do <laughs> other than that that's the only thing that's been going on so now moving into my current bump date update for you guys bump date I don't know what the word is but I like I said I'm 15 weeks my symptoms are still nausea and vomiting in fact I vomited yesterday and I was like oh my gosh I've gone you know this is the longest I've gone without vomiting of course it was only like a handful of days but I was so excited and they do say your second trimester is supposed to um, deplete significantly and I, I honestly do feel better I'm not gonna lie I do um, but I am a little bit I'm ready I'm ready for my energy to be back I'm ready to be able to film the only reason why I'm able to do this for you guys honestly is because I had to take Zofran which is a controversial drug that helps mommy but can hurt babies so I try to take that very sparingly I've only taken it a handful of times like if I'm vomiting and I and I can tell I'm behind the curve then I take it to get ahead of the curve and then to stay ahead of the curve I have to eat constantly so these babies even right now I'm like I need to hurry up and go eat because um, if I go too long without eating like constantly it's weird I start nausea and then usually when I try to eat and it's too late the vomiting ensues so that yeah, swollen hands swollen feet that's new I'm taking Epsom salt baths thank you Chelsea for recommending it um, also, shout out to um, my previous, former co-worker Jessica, she gave me a Lush gift card, so I bought some more bath bombs, that's been helping to take some baths, and I think that's pretty much it. The gender is happening, we're going to do some old wives tales videos to kind of surprise you guys. Well, so see what the old wives tales, honestly, it's like 50-50, I don't believe in them, but I think it's a fun video to do. I think people forget that. I'm in grad school right now. <laughs> it's really hard sometimes because like for instance my appointment is during a class but luckily that teacher's super cool so I don't feel too bad <laughs> missing his class. It's just stressful and then it's just stressful to think that I have to give birth and then still be in class. Um, just the way the cookie crumbles, I mean this is early but I just don't see, I can't really take a break because of the program I'm in and it's accelerated like I do a lot of work and so that's been really hard to open my laptop, be on my laptop, focus, like most of the time I'm in bed, on bed rest and stuff. My doctors just told me to take it easy but it's really hard. But yeah, the babies are going to be here really fast, you know, of course I have those anxiety and fears that I think a lot of moms do but I just have to pray and I've prayed over my children and I know they have purpose and I just deal with things as they come. But yeah, so I think that's it for the bump update. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys the bump because that's why you're all here. <laughs> also, I'm having a lot of pain in the flower region. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The flower region hurts really bad. This is again, a normal third trimester symptom, but I'm having it in my first slash second. <laughs> so, I would describe being pregnant with twins as almost having an accelerated pregnancy, but it lasts the entire time. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. So, okay, this is, let me, there we go. This is the bump. The bump is here. Say hi, babies. These are your YouTube friends. Um, I can't really fit my clothes anymore. <laughs> Like I said, it's not my width, it's like, I just can't get my pants on, so it's just really hard. So, 
Um, I have had to buy maternity clothes. If you guys want me to do a maternity clothing haul, let me know. Actually, I think I will do one because I'm going to go to some stores that you guys probably didn't think of to go to and some of them that you have. But yeah, it's really, you know, I have the, the Leona Negra. I don't know what it's called, but the black line, and I'm suffering from. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the video, but I hope you guys accept my apology, and I hope you're still here. Yes, I am still gonna film military content. I have some good ones coming up, and I, again, wanna apologize. You know, I may not always be, I'm gonna try, but I may not always be like this, and it's, it's okay. You know, I'm pregnant, and I'm going through a lot, and thankfully, Lewis has been a good husband and stuff. Um, and my sister and stuff, so I really relied on them a lot. But honestly, I'm just kind of ready to meet them. And I'm craving Flaming Hot Cheetos and a sub from Jersey Mike's. Both of those which I can't really eat. Subs because of Listeria. Um, I know you can microwave it, but I don't want to. <laughs> and also, I'm craving um, Flaming Hot Cheetos. And because of my acid reflux, slash, I don't know if it's my body or the twins, but whoever, someone does not like it, and when I tried to eat it, I threw all of it up. Like every last drop. And so that wasn't fun. So anytime I vomit a food, I kind of steer clear unless I know, hey, this was just a one-off. Like, but very rarely, once it comes up, I just kind of stay away from it. So as you guys know, if you don't know, I am a Flaming Hot Cheeto stan, and I will forever be a Flaming Hot Cheeto stan and I'm really upset that I can't have it. And then I found out when you breastfeed, you can't eat spicy food either. So, I'm ready to get them out, ready to have them breastfed and weaned off mommy so mommy can enjoy her mommy foods. <laughs> it's weird calling myself mommy, but I talk to them, I'm like, mommy wants to eat this. And so you guys are gonna be calm. Also, my anniversary is coming up this week as well. And Lewis and I will be filming a Q&A for you guys, so I can't wait for you guys to see that, and I'm just excited! <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry this video came, it's been a while, and I'm not going to ramble anymore because this is supposed to be a really quick video, so I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!